Hi, so my name is Raymond, and I'm architect and platform lead at Rock U. And first off, thanks a lot for giving us the opportunity to have a few minutes to talk about our amazing success with Open Social over the past year. So let's start off. So first off, what is Rock U? Well, Rock U is a leading social applications developer. We are a leading developer across all major social networks and platforms, including Open Social, but many others as well. Just to give you a sense of scale, our monthly reach is over 90 million uniques. And our team is roughly 80 employees over various groups, including engineering, product, business development, and sales. So let's start off by talking about what open social means to Rock U. Our mission statement is to engage the world with social applications. Next slide, please. And right off the bat, open social launched on three of the largest social networks in the world, MySpace, Hi5, and Orkut. An amazing opportunity. Next slide. And now, at the one year mark, you can see that we've expanded all around the globe. What was an amazing opportunity is now an unprecedented one. And we've been happy to have worked on all those containers that you see there. Next slide. So for Rock U, we're a larger application developer, so for us, it's more of a portfolio of applications. We have applications across many verticals in this industry, including self-expression, communications and messaging, dating, and virtual pets and casual gaming. And it's been amazingly successful for us, like I said before. In fact, up to now, RockU's open social applications have been installed over 55 million times across the networks that we showed before. And to us, this has been material in driving our overall global reach. Next slide, please. So this morning, I'd like to spotlight two of our premier applications. One of them is Super Pets. And you see here, I've got a couple screenshots from MySpace and Friendster. So Super Pets is a highly engaging virtual pets application. In it, users can adopt a pet, personalize it with their preferences, accessorize it by backgrounds, by accessories, whatnot, and then engage with their friends in casual and competitive gaming. On the next slide, I have a few examples and some screenshots of what it looks like. You can see the level of customization that we've built into the application. You can see here different backgrounds, different outfits. You know, there's even a rainbow in one of those photos. Very cute. Um, and you also, an important aspect of the application, giving it a lot of depth, has been virtual currency and digital economy. A lot of the actions in the game allow users to earn money and then spend it later on buying the accessories that you see above and also those backgrounds. And you see also we've included a screenshot here of an example of the social engagement with the battling aspect in the casual gaming. Now the other application that I'd like to point out is Emote. Now Emote's a very simple application. What it allows a user to do is select from a rich array of graphical icons to express how they're feeling. This is a really simple concept, but a really powerful one that's proven to be widely appealing across cultures and containers and locales. And see, in these screenshots, we have some examples of it localized into Portuguese and into Chinese. Now, of course, everyone's always talking about monetization. And for Rock U, this is a, a little bit different because we also run the largest social media advertising network out there. We have over 1,000 applications in our publisher network, and at this point, we're serving over 12 billion impressions monthly across the network. This level of scale allows us to build strong relationships with branded advertisers. And of course, also being app developers, we have an intimate understanding of the challenges and the intuition that people face. I'm happy to say that Rock U Ads is now available on almost all open social containers. And in fact, there's a self-serve interface available at rockuads.com where developers and, you know, can sign up and be on the ground and running in a matter of a couple of hours. There's also some contact information there for Aaron and Trevor, two of our sales guys. And they're also here today in case you want to talk to someone about more, getting more information. All right, let's get down to some actual application development tips that we've learned after developing for so many containers. I think one of the key points of supporting all the different open social containers is recognizing that there are slight differences here and there. 
One of the most important ones is the fact that view sizes do differ across containers. Designing your layouts to support slightly different sizes easily is going to be a real facilitator for running across different networks. The most frustrating thing in the world is if you have a great layout, but just because this container is five pixels too narrow, it doesn't work. The other thing about open social current implementation is that different containers do implement certain aspects or optional aspects a little bit differently. One of the places you'll see this a lot is in user information. Due to policy or other things, some containers will have different fields than others. Making your apps handle these types of differences gracefully will be also really important to running on lots of different sites. Now, one tip about design. You know, being really successful means leveraging messaging and viral channels effectively. And one of the things to recognize is that it's important to invest the time to understand how messaging channels not only are implemented on different containers that you're launching on, but how the user actually interacts with them. Even though different containers may have the same channel, for example, the, for example, the activity stream, in terms of how the user actually interacts with it, it can differ greatly. And taking the time to understand what the user interaction looks like and customizing your messaging channels for the specific user flow that each container sees can be really important in being effective. You know, another thing that RockU has asked a lot, just because we have a lot of experience both with open social and non-open social platforms, is, well, how does it all fit together? And one of the interesting things from my perspective is the fact that open social is actually a great standard for applications. And in fact, it's proven to be quite portable. In fact, here's the Super Pets app that I just showed you before from MySpace and Friendster. And we've actually also launched it on Facebook. Now, obviously, Facebook does not support open social. However, the Canvas pages of our Facebook application are literally running the same code as our open social uh, versions. And using some common sense encapsulation and abstraction, we've been able to run it in Facebook um, and you know, saving us a lot of time in terms of having to development time in terms of uh, getting this app launched. If you're wondering, this is a, actually a Facebook iframe application using their cross-domain JavaScript library. All right, so just to conclude, congratulations and thanks to everyone who's contributed to Open Social. Um, you know, not just the, everyone in the community, everybody defining the standard, and also all the people who are advocating for the Open Social web for so long now. You know, this first year has been an amazing success for RockU, and looking at how container adoption is gaining momentum and how these spec changes are coming through, this next year is going to be even more interesting. So thanks so much.